This is Austin from the KNA Football Podcast. Welcome to 5 Minute Football. In 2021, Trevor Lawrence was drafted first overall by the Jacksonville Jaguars. He was one of the most hyped prospects going into college and then going into the NFL. The question is, will he be as good a first overall quarterback like Joe Burrow, or will he end up being like a first overall quarterback like Jameis Winston? Entering college, Trevor Lawrence was one of the most hyped prospects since Andrew Luck. In his first year at Clemson, Trevor Lawrence won 15 games in the national championship. The next year, Clemson won 14 games, and 10 games the year after that. This was the COVID year, and only 12 games were played for the Clemson Tigers. Trevor Lawrence was also a Manning finalist, as well as a Heisman Trophy finalist. Since his days at Clemson, Clemson and their head coach Dabo Sweeney have only won 10 and 11 games, respectively. Clearly, Trevor Lawrence was a huge part to the Tigers' offense and a dynamic game changer. Entering the NFL, Trevor Lawrence received plenty of praise from NFL draft analysts and scouts. There were words to describe him such as refined, polished, and quote, the ultimate prototype for a franchise quarterback in today's NFL. He was also noted to be a dual threat QB, which with quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson and now Justin Fields, this is exactly what every NFL team is looking for. Trevor Lawrence had such high grades entering the NFL draft that it was no wonder he was selected first overall. Trevor Lawrence's draft cons weren't really cons, but instead were something that all NFL veterans can work on. His cons were as such. He needed to work on throwing receivers open. He was inconsistent in his manipulation of safeties with his eyes. Additionally, it was noted that he needed to work on sliding after his runs. This is something that all collegiate quarterbacks who run need to work on entering the NFL, seeing as how safeties and linebackers hit harder and run a little bit faster. Trevor Lawrence's draft cons weren't necessarily something that would hurt his draft stock, but were instead something that even veteran quarterbacks can work on. In Trevor Lawrence's rookie season, 2021, he threw for 359 passes on 602 attempts. He threw for 3,641 yards, 12 touchdowns, and 17 interceptions. That's only a 59% accuracy rate. He also rushed for 334 yards so much for a dual threat quarterback. In 2022, Trevor Lawrence's sophomore season, he threw for 350 passes on 531 attempts. He's so far thrown for 3,749 yards, 24 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. He's now at 65% accuracy, 6% better than last year. He's also rushed for 370 yards, much more than last year already, and he's only 16 games in. But is it enough to keep him as a franchise quarterback and be a starter in the NFL long term? Trevor Lawrence's rookie season also saw a rookie head coach. Urban Meyer, a successful college coach, had just come off 187 wins to 32 losses in his collegiate career. He had also won three national championships, seven conference championships, and 10 division championships in college. In his tenure with the Jags, Urban Meyer went 2-11. After kicking his kicker, Urban Meyer himself got the boot and was booted out before the end of the season. In 2022, the Jacksonville Jaguars hired a familiar face in the NFL. They hired senior head coach Doug Peterson. He had been coaching in the league since 2009. In the NFL coaching tree, Andy Reid would be Doug Peterson's father. In his five-year head coaching career with the Philadelphia Eagles, Doug Peterson amounted to a record of 42-37-1 and also won a Super Bowl with the likes of Carson Wentz and Nick Foles as his quarterback. In 2022, Trevor Lawrence, Doug Peterson, and the Jacksonville Jaguars are on the cusp of a division championship just after two back-to-back -back first overall picks. Not under the thumb of Urban Meyer, Doug Peterson has freed Trevor Lawrence to show who he can be in the NFL someone who has developed a clutch factor to help the Jacksonville Jaguars win games. His receiving core is completely different, and Jacksonville Jaguars drafted Travis Etienne as a superstar running back that the Jacksonville Jaguars need to make a far push in the playoffs and into the future. In conclusion, Trevor Lawrence, while maybe not the difference maker some people were looking for him to make in his rookie season, will not be a bust, nor will he be anywhere close to a Jameis Winston. 
he may not touch the success of Joe Burrow for a couple more years. However, Trevor Lawrence is a difference maker and a franchise quarterback that will likely be a superstar starter in the NFL for many years to come. If you disagree with my take or think that I missed anything, go ahead and comment below and I'll be sure to reply with why you're definitely wrong.